ads or pay per click or search ads these people are actively real time looking for that sort of information so if i'm looking for hotels and in goa i am highly likely going to buy something uh, uh, uh some i'm um, book some hotel in goa or planning to do it in near future whereas if you are reaching out to someone on social media uh, by interest targeting or by affinity targeting those people may or may not have as high as intent as search engine okay now coming to the types of inventory available on google ads so we have search ads we have display ads we have product listing ads and video ads can someone can someone take a shot at each of these i think i can yeah go ahead so search ads basically wo hota hai when you search for something गूगल के लिस्टिंग पे फर्स्ट फोल्ड के पेजेस पे जो भी सर्च होता है बिलो द डिस्क्रिप्शन और बिलो द हेडलाइन उसके बाजू में उसके ऊपर नीचे आता है दोज आर सर्च एड्स ओके एंड देन डिस्प्ले एड्स वो डिस्प्ले एड्स आर आल्सो सिमिलर टू सर्च एड्स बट देन दे यूज अ टाइप ऑफ फॉर्मेट वो सर्च लिस्टिंग में नहीं आते वो लोग डिस्प्ले एड्स यूज करते हैं वो लोग क्रिएटिव्स यूज करते हैं टू शो आर डिस्प्ले That is what okay. display. And okay. I feel product listing ads is like a shop shopping cart where you search for something, uh, apka product or another similar product. So, if apka jo product listing me rahega, uh, wo shopping listing ke baju me dikhayega. And video ads, I think uh, video platforms pe like YouTube pe run hote hai, before or after anything you are watching or in between anything you are watching. Mm-hmm. Koi unskippable ad ho gaya, ya koi chota bumper ho gaya. that's what a video ad is perfect that's correct so um, we will see example of each of these of course search ads is something that we have already seen that whenever you uh, look for hotels in goa you will see first top four ads those are those text based ads and we'll get into detail how these text based ads have evolved over a period of time earlier they used to have single heading and single description and how google has changed it to multiple headings and descriptions and can now do multiple permutation combination to even come up with search ads that get higher clicks so um, that search ad then there are display ads and now there are smart display ads as well where you can give google image and google decides uh, uh, how to get maximum click out of the image and text that you have given there are product listing ads so for amazon flipkarts of the world um, uh, uh, all the e-commerce sites use product listing ads where you are looking for buy samsung mobile and you will see an ad which is uh, which will take you to specific products so if you are looking for i don't know what we have latest phone s s12 or whatever it is so if you are looking for an s12 then it will take you to the uh, s12 landing page on amazon or flipkart video ad self explanatory uh, it's uh, it it gets activated when you are watching a video um something interesting here is video ads if you uh, so in social media have you covered um, monetizing your youtube channel um kirtan can you tell me uh, monetizing as such uh, we haven't but uh, i think so how uh, youtube ad works uh, what's the okay ads, so uh, all right so i'll give you a little brief of that so video ads uh, i'll tell you from um, a creator side as well as as a marketer side so there are people who create the content and the content can be monetized so youtube has certain set guidelines and if your channel meets uh, those guidelines so it has some guidelines around the number of followers your youtube channel has the number of um, minutes of watch time uh, your channel has seen and uh, yeah these two things uh, and how old your channel is based on these things you you can monetize your youtube channel and once you monetize your youtube I'm channel sorry. yeah you were cut in between uh, you just started with the uh, point that how you can monetize and yeah. then uh, you know your voice was disconnected okay 
so how you can monetize youtube channel is you there are certain set guidelines by youtube for example you need to i guess the number is 4000 uh, minutes if you have a watch time of 4000 minutes and if you have i think 2000 followers something like that uh then you can uh, monetize your youtube channel which means you can show ads on your created content so once and that's where these video ads appear so the user generated content is uh, is the content where you you can show your ads um so if the video is less than 10 minutes you will have a pre roll ad and if the video is more than 10 minutes then you will also have a mid roll ad and that's where these uh, videos appear so that's a bit about video ads of course we'll get into uh, more details um also can you see my web browser when i'm uh, toggling no your uh, video is stuck on type on the slide okay all right so I'll... i think you have to share your screen when you're sharing uh, so right, you right, share right, your right, desktop right. or correct, other correct screen. correct correct okay so right now we are only on screen so i'll go through the deck and then we'll get into hands on then i'll share my screen all right um so search ads uh, as we started by saying that how search ads the base of uh, this form of ads is keywords because of course people are looking for keywords and we are uh serving those ads on those keywords so it starts with keyword research so uh do you guys have already have keyword planner or if you not can you just quickly open keyword planner on your desktop we don't have keyword planner um so what you can do is you can just make a free account for yourself so that um we can do some hands on activity so you just type google keyword planner and uh, there would be a landing page go to keyword planner just click on that do we say a uh, new google ads account once you sign in with gmail um i guess so because it's been years that i have signed up for a new keyword planner but ha huh, maybe that's how it will allow you okay mine do you want me to share the screen or something i would insist that if you guys can do a uh, if all of us can do it simultaneously that would be better i'll share my screen in a bit once you guys are all are on the same page okay because this is saying google ads uh, confirm your business information country time currency uh actually you can also sign up for you know google adwords account uh, because it will help you after we we do little bit of practical here then i would want you guys to create your own campaigns nidhi yeah i wanted to know ye jo google ads mein when we create our account we need to have a website by default no 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 you can create an account even without attaching any website to it mai kal try kar raha tha but uh, gmail ka sign in ke baad na they were asking for the website and without not entering it wo so, aage bad try this way try this way um just go to uh, create ad campaign and it will right away start i don't know because i have a lot of ad account set up uh, on my thing and yesterday just for this class i was setting up a new account so it allowed me to uh, create the new account without having any uh, url to it however my payment setup is already there for other accounts but i i don't think uh, they would be asking website anyway so just say create google ad campaign or something like that and go to the specific landing page where you can create the account i'll try i'll try can you just show me that yeah let me let me share my screen
Okay, can you see now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one we went to. Yeah. That is asking us for business and stuff like that. Okay, I click the here. Same and website they are asking for. Hena Shannon? Huh. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so here I am at uh, Keyword Planner. Can you see it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'll see if I'm able to show you guys. Oh, it's taking me to some. Great. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, it takes from the previous searches and makes it its own search. Uh, Nidhi, can I share my screen? Because I created a, a new account uh, on Google and uh, when I clicked on to sign up. Sure, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. I think because you, are, you have a, you don't have any history, it would be better if we see yours. Parth, tell me. You have to stop your screen sharing though. Yeah, I'm doing that. Uh, how do I stop this? I can't see any option to just stop sharing screen. Yeah, 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 I yeah, saw. So. Yep. yep. Ah, part the screen. When I clicked on to the Google, uh, Google keyword planner. Yeah, and you need to be pre-logged then. So I am just logged. I got the same. It was the same in my screen. Yeah, but yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. So this is a an old ad campaign. Uh, screen now go to you can see in the footer switch to expert mode click on that guys if you you can be say uh, at the same page with path that would be super helpful because we will be setting up google ads dashboard at once path, rukja, path, rukja. yeah path. so you will be able to create the whole campaign so just be there and uh, since we are here, actually, I'm supposed to go through uh, um, different slides, but I think let's create a campaign because uh, uh, it, it's better to do it right away then. I'm at the same page. Makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Karthik, uh, Kirtan, are you saying something? No, no, actually. Uh, what is Sorry. I put you on the same page. Okay. Everybody is on the same page. I just want to make yeah. sure that we yes, start yes. together. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I am on the same page. Nidhi, what is this number? Is someone talking? This is your ad account number. So if tomorrow you have some problem, you need to tell your Google support that this is the number. Okay. And you can name it whenever like you have a URL. And whatever you name your brand, you can name your ad account. Okay. Okay. So guys, give me a, a yes when everybody is on the same page. Otherwise, it would be a lot more confusing. Uh, Parth, I would say that on the side, if you can also try and see if you're able to open Keyword Planner, because then we'll do Keyword Planning first and then we'll go to Ads. 
the first link yeah sign in sign in okay. everybody is on the same page and we are guys we are waiting for you all to uh come to the point where parth is yeah, i'm just looking at what is he doing uh okay parth it won't, it won't allow you uh, i guess unless no, we uh, create the camp no like this for google like right? so parth open uber suggest on the side this is a tool that neel patel has bought a couple of years back so we'll do keyword research from here okay and just cross the the big interstitial pop up that comes up <laughs> but the pop up look like this green yeah right normally you know the pop up has a boundary or a, it covers a bit of your screen but it's like nice yeah, good okay yeah so guys confirm once you are on the screen or shall we proceed oh yeah we are on the screen yeah we are on the same page on the same campaign page yes yes perfect so uh, part go to the same tab yeah now hover uh, on each so go on sales yeah so see these are the goals so uh, we'll take a moment we'll take a step back and talk about business so consider that um, just tell me which uh, brand line would you like to choose which business line would you like to choose so let's talk about make my trip so are you talking oh uh, no no can you hear me hello Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So say, consider you are a make my trip, okay? And your uh, you have targets of say uh, ten thousand uh, transactions over and above what you are already getting. So then you will have to uh, increase your efforts from the highest converting channel. And more often than not, your highest converting channel would be uh, up after organic. It would be Google Ads. So now, which kind of goal would you choose? Uh, leads, like sales and leads. Yeah. So sales is something that you will choose, um, and now you are. So that's one. Uh, now you are considered that you are a gym brand. and you are opening up your gym you have just launched your app there is no one absolutely no one on your app how would you start brand awareness brand awareness and reach okay but the catch here is that we are talking about an app part go to app promotion don't click just hover mouse over More yeah so when i say that you don't have any app installs you need app installs and the uh, brand awareness brand awareness is required but uh, if you are just starting small and you have very limited budget then certainly you would go through the app promotion path uh, get app installs and get some subscribers so that uh, you can start building business around the people you have got okay now you are a big brand and this is the third question now you are a big brand and uh, you are la launching a new say uh, cookie in the market so now which ad goal type will, would you choose product and brand consideration this ne click kiya jis pe okay anyone else 
it may be brand awareness and reach also but i am or the you know the your point was you are a big brand already mm-hmm. yeah. you are launching a new product new product, product, new product and brand consideration brand consideration only or probably first brand awareness and reach and then another ad group where you can put in product and brand consideration also mhm mhm okay what else but also go to brand awareness and reach yeah so uh, in this case again brand awareness and reach so see you can see brand awareness from two point of views one at a brand level and one you are absolutely launching so big companies like itc unilever they are known at brand level but at the same time when they are launching so say if someone is launching hide and seek you won't know who hide and seek belongs to then again you will have to do brand awareness or say uh, awareness for that so that's why we'll take up the path of doing display and video ads and then we'll go to product and brand consideration however in case of launch of cookie etc it works a little differently but yeah we'll go go towards the brand awareness path because we'll focus on getting more and more impressions and more and more people seeing it okay 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 um now how many we have considered four uh, cases here now the fifth case is um say you are an education company you you are running zen okay you are running zell education and uh, now you need to fill your digital marketing batch which kind of goal would you prefer leads leads anyone else to give any other try you want to uh, tell people to sign up or you want them to uh... I don't do know. Think? I don't know. I'm just telling you business case that you you own Zell. Uh, okay. Let's have Pratham out of the picture, and you are the owner of Zell Institute, and then you are looking to fill your digital marketing badge. So you tell me uh, the objective, and you tell me how would you go about it. I don't know. I'm confused between sales and leads, but I think mostly it's leads only. Okay. Uh, and how did you come to know about uh, Zell Education Digital Marketing Course? Um, I came to came to know through Instagram ad. Same your Instagram. Okay. Okay. Great. So in this case, uh, if uh, I were to run uh, Zell, then I'll choose leads. Uh, there are a couple of reasons. Uh, how you decide these goals this also depends on how you have structured your business but that's altogether a very different story uh here especially in education the format is that um, people collect leads businesses collect leads and then there is a sales team who makes the call to make the final sale so india is yet not there to uh, make digital sales for expensive products uh, of course uh, udemy is of the world uh, which are selling courses for really uh, i shouldn't call cheap it sounds cheap but at really low price are able to do sales ads and sell courses uh, quickly otherwise if the ticket size is bigger especially in case of education then the format that people use is leads okay and now uh, again the zell example now your boss has given you target to get traffic on a particular blog or article what kind of ad would you run and the last one is left yeah so to get the right people to visit your website you would run website traffic and the formats that you can use to uh, generate this is search display shopping and video okay so so i guess we are clear that uh, what are these goals and how we can use them so now just parth click on leads uh, just a second uh, can you just speak about smart what are the smart uh, campaign types as in search display shopping video 
uh, I'm not able to hear you, Parth. Your your voice uh, is fading. So, what is smart campaign type? As in yeah, yeah, we'll we'll talk about smart oh. campaigns. I was telling you multiple permutation combination of headings and descriptions. We'll come to that. Okay, so we'll click on leads. Yeah, click on leads. So this is a very uh, this is the latest version of dashboard that we are seeing now. and it just keeps on opening you will keep on scrolling and things will you will keep on adding things earlier the dashboard used to be uh, uh, pretty complicated and nested so google simplified it lately so we'll see the first ad type which is search yeah yeah click it okay it again asks for uh, the same things more or less so you can just click lead form submission and then continue okay i'll take a pause and check with you guys are you guys doing it parallelly on your screen yes all of you what did you click in after search option what should पार्थ जस्ट गो बैक एंड डू कंट्रोल एड वंस Okay, it doesn't take multiple controls there. Okay, so yeah, so lead search. So uh, see the campaigns. So this is something that uh, when you are actually running ad, you should be very careful for, careful about that the nomenclature of the campaign should be standard, which means that see how Google has very nicely and smartly this the defined it that your goal is lead, your ad type is search, and this is your first campaign. this yeah. is a very simplified version however when you are making a nomenclature for your uh, uh business you should pay attention to uh, uh, um what all things elements you would like to include here so that when you are glancing through the dashboard you are able to understand what campaigns you have made so but go ahead now now do whatever you are doing let's do the same thing i'll just add my name okay perfect so we'll run through uh, search and display both and now go to show more settings okay these are some advanced settings uh, not often required uh, but required to optimize your ads okay Uh, go down, go down, go down. Okay, sorry, I was seeing my screen. Uh, you are on a different day. Go, go, go up. Yeah. So, uh, you can put start and end date. If for now we will not put all of these, we will not get into all of that. Just let it be. Man, man, yeah. Go down. we will not touch any of these because we don't have campaign url and other options uh maybe if there is a campaign url what should that be so uh in case of lead generation i would always suggest that don't leave your users to your website product page have a separate landing page because what hap Yeah. For example, if I have a blog page on WordPress. dot com, so what URL should you keep there? What wherever you want the customer to land that page. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So we'll enter another location. Just click on enter another location. Yeah, and just type wherever you are.
So just target Mumbai. Yeah. So you can see that 2.5 uh, crore people are there in Mumbai. Now just come down. So now see targeting options. If you read, everything is self-explanatory, and people. So so there are three types where people are present there. People who frequently so maybe someone is coming from Nasik to Mumbai, Surat to Mumbai, and uh, coming and going back. So people in or out regularly. So that's one option. People in that area specifically, that's option. Or people who show interest in that area. So you maybe you are uh, looking for a hotel in Goa. So these kind of hotel in Mumbai. So these kind of people will also start seeing uh, ads if you look for this. And if you are traveling back and forth uh, to Mumbai from other locations, those kind of people will start seeing if you uh, click the second option. And if you want to be very uh, precise, I would suggest that come down and select the third option. Okay, so the default language we'll go ahead with. Now we'll come down. Audiences. Now click on audiences. Okay. Okay, now I'll I would invite all of you to 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 build the audience. So please come up with your suggestions. So, uh, audiences, when it's saying search, what do we like? Do we put in keywords here? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll I'll walk you through in market audience. I'm just going through deck once. What is the order that we are supposed to cover? Okay, because we directly jumped to the uh, Google Ads dashboard, which was coming at a later point. So I'll just. There's something called targeting and observation also. Correct. So targeting is based on search and observation is based on your other uh, signals that you give to Google, even though you are not searching for that particular um, keyword. So if I have a page, take for example, I'm doing this for Zell. So what sort of audience should I look for? Should I look for students? Uh, who are, uh, you know, probably looking for digital marketing uh, courses or how should I start with? What audience it will bring out to me? Or do I need to go in the audience manager and then they define the demographics and the, you know, uh, what keywords they would be looking for? I'm sorry, guys. Give me a minute. My uh, screen is again doing some trouble. Okay, that's fine. In the meantime, can you go to Uber Suggest and uh, start looking for keywords, maybe for the same Zell uh, digital marketing course? 
and you need to select india yeah So yeah, um, I might have to disconnect the Zoom because uh... yeah, Parth, uh, I can see your screen now. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I believe you have searched for digital marketing keyword. Yes. Others are with us. Yep. Yes. Yes. Perfect. So now uh, you can see that one lakh sixty five thousand is the search volume, and the SEO difficulty is fifty eight. Uh, anyone to guess what is SEO difficulty? Uh, I think it's uh, you know uh, it's basically out of hundred it says uh, you know difficulty level is at more than fifty or rather it's it's not really very difficult but uh, uh, there are other players who are ranking for this since the search volume is very high but with few of the tweaks it can be done it's not really as high as a ninety percent or eighty percent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's correct. So SEO difficulty is uh, or your organic difficulty of a keyword, how competitive a particular keyword is. Um, and uh, specifically, digital marketing is a very competitive keyword because brands, agencies who are into digital marketing are bidding for it. People who are training on digital marketing are bidding for it. People also looking uh, or uh, seeking to hire people for digital marketing are bidding for it. So a lot of people are bidding for it. Hence, it is very competitive. But anyways, that's something to do with organic. And now come down.
and here you will see how is the mobile uh, moving uh, mobile and desktop volume graph moving so you will see that more people are looking uh, through mobile which is obvious and this also gives you a fair understanding of how many people so if you see the blue part you will see that the these are the clicks that you are getting through organic then uh, these are the clicks that you are getting through paid and it also gives you age wise break up so 25% of your audience is between 18 to 24 so we can do all of these niching of the audience on when while creating our ad campaign okay we'll come down so now you can see what is the estimated cost per click so can can someone tell me what is the cost per click here now part knows he just needs to go there and mouse over the question mark i am actually doing it for quite a while now <laughs> yeah so go ahead but i would still want to hear your interpretations of uh, cpc i think it's uh, it's uh, the cost which i will have to pay to google uh, when someone clicks on my landing page link or uh, when i'm uh, advertising for this particular keyword with a you know url correct correct so that's cost per click yeah uh, any guesses how is cpc calculated like uh, i had a one question yeah so even if uh, anybody like if not a target audience anyone who clicks on the ad so the person who is launching the ad is supposed to pay for this one cpc yeah 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 so whatever clicks you are getting uh, whether they are relevant not relevant you will have to pay for those so that's irrespective of uh, the quality of the clicks however google uh, tries to make sure that uh, people are getting quality clicks otherwise brands or businesses will drift away from google and we'll come to that there are very interesting phenomenon around how google sees who should be ranked first and how google charges based on your quality score do you know there is something called as quality score in google ads yes no uh, can you tell me what it is uh, quality score are basically determined by a lot of factors uh, your google page speed um, your relevance of the kind of uh, ads you which you are running with the title and the descriptions you have and okay. the page relevance so if i'm talking about say a product and i am showing a landing page of b product it uh, you know the quality score would be bad the fact that uh, you know how much time a really customer spends on my page after he has seen the ad uh, so bounce is one factor uh, for quality score uh, the page speed is another uh, the relevance of the product uh, and there are many other factors uh, you know which determine the quality pay, uh, rank of uh, the landing page or an ad sure so uh, now since we have spoken about quality score uh, can you tell me can any of you tell me that how quality score plays important role in pricing the the price that you would be paying for uh, a can, click can i try yeah yeah sure अगर क्वालिटी स्कोर हाई रहेगा तो यू माइट बी वांटिंग और नीडिंग टू पे द लेस प्राइस बिकॉज इन कंपैरिजन टू अदर कंपटीटर्स अगर तुम्हारा क्वालिटी स्कोर अच्छा है तो यू पे लेस प्राइस दैट्स ऑल सो आपका सीपीसी कम हो जाता है एज कंपेयर टू द अदर कंपटीटर्स करेक्ट एंड व्हाई डू यू थिंक दैट गूगल डस सो ताकि एड लोगों तक पहुंचे अच्छे से पहुंचे और आपका एड रिलेवेंट रहे और क्वालिटी रहे एड में प्रोबेबली करेक्ट करेक्ट सो सो एडवर्ड्स हैज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एड रैंक्स 
okay and uh, we'll discuss that in detail but i'll just uh, i'm just talking about that ad rank has one important criteria which is quality score so, so uh, one rank, more question yeah so this cpc has its 46 and the last one is for 195 correct so on what basis do they uh, uh, decide the costing of this see uh, so uh, okay, so let's come to the uh, uh, keyword planner bit again. We were uh, talking about Google Ads and we, we are again coming to keyword keyword levels. So there are two types of keywords. One, your uh, long tail keywords and your uh, short tail or maybe normal keywords. So digital marketing is your high volume keyword. And in this case, digital marketing Google course is your long tail keyword which means someone who is looking when you're looking for digital marketing you could be looking for digital marketing agency you could be looking for digital marketing jobs you could be looking for uh, digital marketing training however when you're looking for something as specific as digital marketing google course then you are actually looking for a course that google provides on digital marketing so it's a long tail keyword. It's, it has a sharp focus. Your intent of doing digital marketing course in this case is higher. So that's why the uh, more people will bid on such keywords. Of course, they will bid on uh, broader keywords as well because that brings in volume and uh, more leads and more traffic and more conversions. Um, but the conversion rate is going to be low. Okay. So when I say more conversions, the number of conversions are going to be more because one lakh sixty five thousand may one percent be convert with it so it's gonna be a significant number 1650 people right but in case when intent is high when someone is when you are reaching out to someone who is looking for specifically course then the conversion rate could be maybe 10 percent and e and uh, the conversion cycle would also be less but you will have to pay higher because the intent of the keyword is higher because you are getting more and more focused. So this principle applies to any ad platform. As you try to be more and more specific, your audience size will start reducing and your cost per click or uh, cost per million impressions or video view rates, etc., will start increasing. Am I making sense? Yeah, okay, good. So the more specific we so, like go for the higher the uh, CPC is. Correct, correct. Like for example, just if I search for a specific hotel in Goa, so the CPC would be more uh, as compared to normal search in hotels in no, Goa. No, 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 that's not how it works because now you are asking this question from a customer point of view is searching for that. So now the, the ad could be delivered to you because you have uh, searched for uh, you have targeted your ads for hotel in Goa. Okay. okay. But if you are saying that you are serving ad for X, Y, Z hotel in Goa and Panjim, then you will be paying more because that's a long tail keyword. Otherwise, ads can appear even on broad tail, uh, uh, like your normal keywords, right? Also, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, okay, ways, that way. That okay. way. So you can re reach out this this bottom audience. Uh, Parth highlight digital marketing Google course. This audience. Uh, by go to the top keyword digital marketing digital marketing yeah so you can just uh, target someone for digital marketing and you might appear on, on these searches as well and we'll study more on how you can uh, do uh, broad match phrase match exact match and modified broad match these are the four type of matches that you have in uh, google adwords so Google facilitates you that when you choose a keyword, you can do broad, modified phrase or exact match. Nidhi, just going back to your question, how is CPC calculated? Yeah. So I, I just, uh, I am not sure if I'm right or wrong, but it's also a basis, the fact that uh, it's a bid fight. Uh, so there are, for a particular, uh, take for example, digital marketing keyword, there are many people who are bidding. 
uh, campaign uh, in uh, now when i am bidding for it i can say that you know i will buy this product for or i will buy uh, ad on this particular keyword for 100 rupees somebody can say 50 somebody can say 200 somebody can say 2000 right correct correct now when uh, the particular cpc is calculated it would be same for everybody right so take for example if somebody like icici so so, so somebody like zell or somebody like uh, another abc is uh, trying to bid for uh, digital marketing they both will have to pay 46 rupees for 0.42 uh, paise uh, for a cpc click on their links right no they won't be paying the same uh, price because as i said that the there are several other parameters that go into uh, okay. calculating uh, your bid. Okay. And so, so we'll come to that. So ad rank, I, I introduced, so there is something called as bid, the maximum amount you are willing to pay for a click on your ad. That's okay. bid. Quality score is your relevance, your expected CTR, your landing page experience, your historical CTR that makes uh, for uh, quality score. And then format of the ad the expected impact that ad extensions will have on your CTR and what kind of ad format you're using. When okay. you use these three, then your ad ranks uh, become XYZ. And based on these, uh, the and based on ad rank quality score and format impact, your bid is also uh, uh, decided. If you have higher quality score and your competitor has lower quality score, so you would be paying as like Parth gave an example, I don't know who gave an example, but uh, if you have higher quality score, you will be paying. So for example, for digital marketing, you are paying 10 rupees and your competition is paying 20 rupees. Why are you paying 10 rupees? Because your quality score is higher. And right. why is your competi competition paying lower? Because their quality score is poor. Now, how is quality score decide decided? It is decided based on relevance, expect expected CTR, landing page experience, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so the bid is not going to be same for the same keyword. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, that's the underlying point. So it's basically I have to pay less uh, if my uh, you know quality score and other aspects are good, but somebody who who is not really good in terms of uh, uh, his, so he has to shout more. It yeah. To so the so that, you know, yeah. So let me clarify two things. So if two advertisers uh, have everything same, then the higher bid will win. Yeah, but it is highly unlikely that everybody will have everything mm -hmm. same. Yes. So conversion rate, page experience, ad relevance, search mm -hmm. term and keywords, targeting, something mm -hmm. or the other will change. But if two two people have everything same, then the higher bid will on uh, on the traction. So, but uh, you know, the relevance of bidding uh, really is not uh, going to be a factor because in most of the scenarios, never two different companies or two different entities will come up with a similar kind of, uh, you know, uh, all these uh, parameters, the quality score, relevance, historical CTR. Uh, you know, uh, landing page experience and See, like that. I would say that you need to bother about manual bidding only when when there is some issue. So, so like if you are if your ad campaigns are seeing erratic numbers, mm -hmm. then only you need to uh, get into bother uh, get into manual bidding and thinking about uh, what competition or uh, what benchmarks industry has and why am I paying more and I should uh, get into manual bidding. Otherwise, you optimize it, uh, you leave it on Google and uh, you can run the campaign. Okay, so when you are saying, uh, you know, sorry, manual bidding and automated bidding, it means that I give a, a, a set of money to Google. So say for, take for example, I say to Google that you have, a, you know, probably a crore of rupees from me. I want to bid on this particular keyword. And for each particular CPC, don't go beyond 50 rupees. Is that how automatic yeah. bidding works, sort of? Manual bidding. You are uh, a bidding method where you uh, set your own maximum cost per click is okay. your manual bidding method. Okay. Yeah. Nidhi, could you go back to your slide where you stopped on uh, search ads? Wait, I will stop sharing. Yes, please. Okay.
wait a second i'll just open i just came way down on the deck Wait a second. I am on Zell's actual Google Ads dashboard, so let me open a campaign and then share the screen with you guys. Yeah. Because I am not sure if I am. I am. I should be showing the whole dashboard, but. Uh... So my question, in the meantime, the dashboard is loading. My question to you guys who are running social media campaigns for uh, Sodexo or other brands, uh, how are you dealing with this entire COVID situation on social media? right so um uh, for the, for our brand we've uh, decided not to speak about um uh, lockdown or you know isolation and stuff like that because there are two parts of the business one is on site services and these are the guys who are doing facility management hospitality uh, catering services in canteens and stuff like that and okay. ours is benefits and rewards which is your meal cards and gift cards basically all employee benefits okay so uh, because the 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 volume of conversations is very high around hygiene and all of that as a benefits and rewards business we decided not to speak about isolation and uh, you know social distancing and because uh, the on, on twitter for example orm we have to be very careful Mm -hmm. uh, for being picked up, maybe the wrong Sodexo gets picked up, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when it comes to social media, uh, we're doing a lot of uh, uh, conversations around positive things. Already there's so much of clutter and negative conversation and COVID updates and hygiene and things to do. So as a brand on social media, we'll be very cautious and using things uh, which favor employees, their positive moods, uh, the way to work from home. So work from home, uh, you know, tutorials and guides and stuff like that. Some healthy recipes that you can cook up, hobbies that you can pursue in. Uh, because we want to give out positive message to our followers on Facebook, Instagram and uh, LinkedIn. Okay. So oh, that's, yeah, sorry, that's go ahead. A, yeah, so that's the strategy we've adopted for communicating uh, positives. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, we actually started, uh, you know, a bit early when actually coronavirus was in, uh, you know, China, Italy, it was because we have our Italian, uh, you know, partner in Future Gym Rally. Uh, so we started with uh, making people uh, aware about coronavirus and what is COVID. We did few live sessions with doctors, which, uh, you know, the idea was that we are into insurance and, you know, uh, it's more or less a care brand sort of thing. And our target audience being fathers, we wanted to make them aware about the fact that how this coronavirus is going to affect and what all things you can do. So we got an expert, a doctor, for, uh, and then we talked about through a live session. Then we started, uh, you know, campaigns around you know what are symptoms what you can do uh, what you uh, you know how you can save yourself and things like that and then when lockdown started we started with a campaign of you know locking in good habits and then we uh, you know did some live sessions uh, again you know within two days three days uh, with creating like uh, we got a yoga trainer then we got a doctor who talked about mental peace and then we are doing some uh, Zumba videos. So sort of engagement, engaging the audience onto the social platforms, but not really talking about buy my product, buy my product. The idea is to just create an engagement platform wherein people come and uh, you know forget about whatever is ongoing in life and try and see the positive side of this lockdown. Mm -hmm. I think engagement is the key during this time. Uh, and... Uh, uh, so even if you're not showing up to sell something, uh, just calming your audience and being there with on their side, as, as someone says that when someone is really sad, you shouldn't go and uh, try to 
uh, to any, do anything else but just be there by their side and uh, be present so i think that's that's the stance that brands are also supposed to take and be there uh, keep listening and keep engaging is is yeah. the key at this point in time so you know the idea was always going organic we did not spend much uh, this is a very cheap uh, you know campaign which we have done till now we have not spent anything and the engagement which we are seeing or the interaction which we are seeing on our live sessions is has increased multifolds so earlier when uh, you know when we used to do any live session the you know audience reach was more or less to 5000 or 10000 uh, people but now it is reaching to you know nothing less than something 50000 sort of audience or uh, there are 1000 1000 1500 people watching our live sessions so that is also something which is a revelation for us also that that's great that's great i think that's a learning that others should yeah. also pick yes so you know it it's been a quite a learning uh, phase wherein we are not really spending on social media uh, or and trying to re- create more relevant con- content for audience and uh, you know it's been a very uh, you know good learning for us in terms of how our social media uh, uh, audience is uh, reacting to our content great great and are you doing any search ads no not really no uh, spends at all we okay. have created a micro site wherein we are talking about coronavirus you know symptoms and everything mm-hmm. and then we are also talking about the fact that you know you should lock in good habits during this lock time lockdown time and then we are showing them the videos which we have done in the live sessions so if you would want i can take you through those campaigns but we are not uh, actually doing any spends either on social media platforms or on search ads okay okay Cool. So we'll uh, we'll have a look at it. Maybe if you want to share something, you can share on the chat the link, yeah, yeah. and uh, that uh, all of us can go through them. Uh, now coming back to keyword planner. So we were talking about keyword planner, and can you see my screen? Yeah. All right. So we will go to discover new keywords because that's what we are trying to. or do so do you guys have keyword keyword planner open with you i hope all of you have set up your uh, uh keyword planner Can you go back please on the main screen sure yeah okay okay thank you discover new keywords click on that yeah. i am still on that uh, you know ad page yeah actually i am still on the ad page it's not uh, the page which you are showing on your screen okay how should we it's actually an internal tool so uh, for example we have to first uh, get into the main home page i guess yeah actually for uh, getting into keyword planner i believe you have to complete the account setup oh this is because the- yeah so just quickly but actually it will take some time uh, so maybe let me do keyword planning here and uh, maybe we can take it up tomorrow again okay okay so i'll just quickly look at digital marketing so we have already seen how uber suggests uh, dashboard looks and how you can do it there we'll do it here as well okay now this is google ad uh, google ads keyword planning tool this is a free tool once you set up your account you will be able to uh, uh, reach your easily here you can see that the location choice is available okay so you can choose for any location you can go to i believe uber suggest will not provide you mumbai and city level data but here in keyword planner you will be able to get that data as well okay so in this case we'll just select mumbai 
so now everything is updated you saw these numbers yeah. have changed okay um here you can select your language if you are doing international seo you can go and select uh spanish you can select italian whatever you want uh once upon a time i was writing on quora spanish so this was super helpful for me back then uh because i was able to do uh international seo or, or spanish uh for 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 spanish search engine by just using uh, this tool and uh, you can decide what period you are looking for maybe you don't want to see uh, if you want to see seasonality accounted in your keyword research choose last 12 month if don't if you don't let's see last month what what's happening and you can add more keywords uh google will suggest you more keywords uh and you can decide based on here we are not going to pick any of these keywords because in this case these are not relevant to us we are looking for digital marketing we are looking for online digital marketing courses oh uh, so i mean we could either use this or uber suggest right i mean it's yes yes they give the same results right um or yeah. is one and the same right uh more or less same but i would suggest that keyword planner use keyword planner because you will get city level uh filtering okay okay so in uber suggest you can't do city wise yeah i believe in uber suggest you will get only country level let's see yeah they will uh, this will only give you country level okay okay um so yeah so here you can see competition medium high if uh, if suppose i had an ad account linked to this here i would have started seeing impression share okay that's why keyword planner is in um in is a part of uh, google adwords unlike google search console tag manager data studio which are uh, different different uh, tools this is part of google adwords so that you can play around here with your existing uh, data so now you will see that uh, here you will see top of page bit low range and top of page bit high range uh so why do you see it well, what do you think why why are you seeing top of page bit uh, low range and high range so it's uh, about uh, i want to rank my ad first but if my quality score and other parameters are really good this is the least amount i will pay and again in the high range it would be the maximum i would pay for that particular keyword if my you know planning page experience and other aspects are not really good just a hint here so typically if your ad account is uh, linked you will see uh, you will see historically paid for a keyword top page bid and uh, uh, high page bid that you are paying for the same uh, and if not then you will see uh, the uh, general trend that's there so uh, in google adwords or in fact any kind of ad format you will never know absolute numbers for things it will always always be subjective of your ad account your that particular campaign etc hence you will see such range uh, range uh, at a lot of places okay but uh, nidhi what is top of page what, what like what is top of page here top of page so uh, the ads that are appearing on the uh, google ad results uh, when you search for any particular keyword the four ads that you see mm. those are top of page ads 
Okay. Form is a low range means like the bare minimum you have to pay for the ad, right? Yeah, the ads uh, where you have paid less, and the okay. high range is the maximum that you have paid for the same okay. keyword. Okay. So see, these are the uh, keywords where the competition is really low. Google digital marketing, nobody is bidding here. Online marketing companies, nobody is uh, bidding here. Or fewer people are bidding here. And these are high because of course, someone who is looking for best digital marketing course is of course uh, uh, looking for uh, uh, buying a course. So that's why competition is high here. So we'll see that uh, in this best digital marketing course, the lower bid is uh, close to 70 and the higher bid is uh, close to 225. Whereas you pick any low uh, competition keyword, the bid is almost one third, the lower bid or one fourth. And the higher bid is also like one third. So you're getting my point. As soon as you get into higher competition level, your lower bid and higher bid is uh, going to be more. And here you can, from here you can download your keyword ideas in an Excel. So that it makes easier for you to play around with what uh, do you want to pick and what do you want to use in your campaign. So let's just see. It's pretty handy if you have some shortcuts that you know. Uh, so, so for example, um, I'll open an Excel. So for example, I'll tell you some quick calculations. So of suppose you are expecting 10 sales. We can't see your screen Nidhi. Oh, okay. Wait a sec. Can you see now? Can you yes. see now? Yes. Yeah. So say, uh, so for example, if suppose you have been given a target of uh, 100 sales, okay? And uh, you know by historical uh, CTR. So what I'll do is, so you know that historical CTR is 2%. So people, um, so if you get let me do it this way. If you get uh, 100 leads, uh, 10 of those leads convert. So this is leads. This is your conversion. Okay. And in order to get 100 leads, you need to get, uh, say, thousand impressions okay so now your final conversion rate here is divided by leads correct are you getting what i'm trying to say so your conversion rate here is uh, what i have done is total number total conversions that you're getting and total leads you're getting so currently you have 10 percent conversion rate okay Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. 
and here you are getting on 1500 or say 15000 impressions you are getting 100 leads so your uh, impression to lead conversion is uh, in impression to lead rate is 1% guys are you with me i'm not able to hear any of you is it yes, visible yes. yeah is it making sense yes yes yep yeah so uh, again i'll come back so what we are trying to do is suppose your boss comes to you or you are a business owner and you have to make 100 sale how will you decide uh, that what are the next steps so i'm trying to build a campaign for you guys and uh, i'm trying to tell you how you can make your keyword portfolio so that you get these impressions and these leads and these conversions or maybe this conversion okay are we on the same page yes okay so can someone tell me what would be the next step you have to get 100 sales and now these are some uh, a few things that you already know so would we be running a campaign on cost per impression no so i'm not getting into uh uh, uh the goals i am asking you to calculate how mean what how will you arrive at this number mathematically and then we'll get into goals so how many impressions would this conversion be required so accordingly i can go and select my keywords anyone it will derive from here itself mm, so conversion is 10 so that would be counted as a sale right yes this is final sale yes so for 100 we would be needing to improve the impression rate and the lead should be uh, i think so for 100 we are getting 10 so uh, rate conversions will be needing close to 1000 1000 leads so okay i'll simplify rather than back calculating So what I'll do is we'll see. So if I have to get hundred sale, uh, how many leads would I be required? Thousand. It would be thousand. Correct. So these are the leads required, and how are we back back calculating this? Did you get it? Yes. Right. So what I did is I'll I'll highlight the cells. So what I did is I wanted 100 sales and the conversion rate is 10%. So I divided both. So I got I I require 100 leads. That's clear. And then I'll again back calculate to see how many impressions would be required. And what is the impression rate? One percent, right? So how many impressions would be required? Seven. Sorry, see eight. Eight. Correct, and now we'll see uh, if the conversion rate is correct. Okay, we are getting hundred sales. Where, how are we getting hundred sales? We, if we, if I'm able to uh, generate thousand, so in order to generate hundred sales, I will have to generate thousand leads, and in order to generate thousand leads, I will have to do one lakh fifty thousand impressions. Okay. now how will i do 150000 impressions i'll come back and see that i should at least have keywords uh that are having more than that that number of impressions so here since we have all, only taken uh, digital marketing courses online digital marketing courses now there this is just one keyword and its entire portfolio so we'll come back and we'll see we need to make sure that we have keywords that are at least totaling up to 
the number that we are looking for. So see, this is summing up to only 19,720. Okay. Where did you get the number from? 19,000. I am just totaling the entire uh, uh, search volume. Minimum search volume and I'll do the maximum search volume. This is 252,000. So, okay. So, I can target all of these keywords and even if I get 50% impression share, I'll be able to get these many impressions and hopefully I'll be able to generate 1000 leads and 100 conversions. This is a rough calculation how I would go about uh, building a campaign uh, if I'm looking for uh, 100 sales. Am I making sense? Is it clear? So this is just a very rough calculation. Of course, we'll get into creating a campaign, creating different ad groups, ad sets and all of that. But if your boss comes and tells you that if you need to get 100 conversion, then you will have to do some math that, okay, if, if I'm running a campaign, whether it's going to give me the result that I'm expecting or not. So if what most people do is they, they, they might select keywords that are not even totaling up to the imp impression number of impressions required. So in that case, anyways, you won't be able to get desired number of leads and conversions. So it is uh, important that you have some rough calculation to understand if you're looking at 100 sales, what is the number of leads or clicks you are getting uh, looking at and what is the number of impressions you're looking at. So at more end, like an estimation tool. Correct. No, this is not a tool. This is a calculation that I'm telling you. Yeah, that's yeah. how you can. Yeah. Yes. But does the Google Keyword Planner to help me uh, do this kind of calculation? So take for no. example, if I'm saying that I, the historical uh, conversion rates, everything is into my Google Analytics, right? So is it connected with my Google Analytics, the Google Keyword Planner tool? No, it's connected with your uh, AdWords account. So impression share, add impression share, etc. You will see from uh, your AdWords data, historical data. But it will not tell me the conversion sale, uh, which will happen onto my website, and hence it will be available on Google Analytics platform. No, it will not. So neither Google Analytics, not your, nor your Google AdWords, uh, both will not predict conversions for you. They will tell you all the historical information. And yeah, and if you so have I'm said trying to understand Nidhi, so take for example, I am planning about a keyword uh, on Google Keyword Planner tool, then I'm running an ad on Google uh, AdWords, and then all this culminate, whatever my objective is, is culminating onto my website and hence coming onto Google Analytics platform. At a stretch, can I see everything that how my ad performed? And what so, a sort of uh, historical conversions I have onto my plan on my uh, campaigns, and then you know, basis that Google suggests me that you know these are the conversions which have happened, and this is what you should do, sort of thing. Sorry, I didn't get the last part of it. You said that, uh, yeah. Go ahead. So, so the point which I'm trying to make is when uh, you know I have run few ads onto my uh, Google AdWords account, this is the uh, keywords which I've taken for Google uh, Keyword Planner tool. Will, if I'm doing a next uh, campaign, will Google tell me that this is what your historical performance has been and you should do something of this sort? Yeah, yeah. So Google, Google has Google ads nowadays is very smart. So it will suggest you uh, at each and every step okay. that uh, but I, I'm still not able to uh, get your question. Uh, but if you're asking that will it suggest you improvements uh, along the line, then yes, it will suggest improvements, it will highlight errors, it will also give you uh, tips to fix things. Yes, All of that, that Google will do. That yes. was my, yes. you know, main input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, Google mind. will do that. In fact, Google Analytics will also tell you uh, recommendations and how uh, month uh, you you are performing as compared to previous months and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. So that was an overview of how Keyword Planner is used. Uh, we saw how Keyword Keyword Planner is used. How you can uh, you can see my slide, right? Right. 
yeah so we saw uber suggest and we saw keyword planner in uber suggest uh, we went through how the tool is used in keyword planner we went through how the tool is used how you can select the location how you can get into city level data how you can figure out which are highly competitive keywords and which are uh, low competitive we also discussed about um, how competitive keywords uh, uh, yield to more cpc and how low competition keywords have a lower uh, cpc we also discussed about how you can create a campaign and have enough keywords with enough volume to achieve your final goal which is sale or lead are we all on the same page for this Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. So um so so at the top level of Google AdWords is the campaign level. And when you come down there is ad group level. And inside ad group there are keywords. And then inside ad group there are two things keywords as well as ads. Okay? So we are we have just discussed keywords so that you understand uh how the ad campaigns are going to be built on what keywords we are going to do targeting that's why we have discussed this part we'll come back to the entire campaign structure and uh further things now it's understanding the user psyche via keyword search um in this as we had discussed earlier there are broad match broad match modifier phrase match and exact match anyone who will who can you know take a chance and uh, would like to explain apart from part part has done enough and more so i want someone else to take uh, uh, i think there are people who haven't spoken at all uh dhwani mohit anyone else abid about uh, the type of uh, ads so this type of, of keywords yeah broad so i'll i'll give a little context to it um so we have so keywords can also be looked at from different different point of view uh it could be broad match it could be uh uh your phrase match exact match and each has some meaning attached to it as you can see you can see my slide right yeah yeah so some have wider reach uh some have a very focused reach so i want you guys to take a shot with an example uh, i can give it a try yeah uh, so for example uh, if i have a t-shirt store uh, hmm. so a broad match would be a t-shirt uh, t-shirt uh, red t-shirt for example Mm. so it includes red as well as t-shirt as a keyword mm -hmm. whereas in exact match it would be just t-shirt store mm -hmm. is match would be somewhat like a, a t-shirts between uh, 200 to 500 so a phrase match would include the keyword as well as the supporting keywords as well whereas with the exact match so i uh, i be... hold on hold on so broad match when you are saying uh, apart from example how will you explain it in one line for broad match uh, it would be uh, t-shirts hmm uh, then there okay, would I'll be a prefix and a suffix like pre okay, keyword and... yeah sure एडिंग टू कीर्तन पॉइंट ब्रॉड मैच में अगर समझो टी शर्ट एक की वर्ड है तो अगर आप ब्लैक टी शर्ट डालो या ब्लू टी शर्ट डालो वो टी शर्ट दिखेगा ही बिकॉज इट्स अ ब्रॉड मैच तो वो सारे ऑडियंस में पहुंचेगा दैट हैज ए की वर्ड टी शर्ट इन इट yeah so uh, okay so we'll go one by one so broad match as you rightly said you both rightly said that it's it's generally for related searches so right. even if you are not using uh, the proper word so for example even if you are uh, talking about uh, say uh, stripped t-shirts yeah stripped t-shirts you will appear uh, in that as well right 
so any related search that you are looking at for example if you are looking at uh, computer bags then you will also get uh, featured in leather computer bags so all the related searches will be covered under this this is the broadest category that google ads has now uh, uh, anyone to take a shot at modified broad search modified broad match can be like more specific jaise broad match mein only computer bags so broad modify ke andar uh, like it will include synonyms as well kind yeah, of it would it would include yeah synonym okay okay any anything else any example i'm thinking but so probably taking an example again of the strip t-shirt or shirt hmm. if you put strip t-shirt it will show you only strip t-shirt but under the section of t-shirts also aisa nahi hoga ki wo fir stripped shirts bhi dikha hai it will only show you stripped t-shirts so it will be more restrictive yeah a little bit okay and how, what is the symbol for it uh, i think it's plus correct so for example if uh, if you are searching for say red dress so uh, you will also appear in variations of red dress like you will also appear in red bags colorful red dresses uh red clutches etc so that it's a modified form of uh uh, uh keyword oh, but that's how why... is it different from broad match so broad match will not modify your keyword like in the in sense case, like can you give an example this, yeah in this case for example i said if you are if, even if you are targeting for say say red purse you will start appearing in uh, searches for red bags colorful purses women clutches etc etc so the keyword okay. is getting modified here and okay. whereas in broad match what will happen what you will still be appearing for so if if for example for example if you are doing for mobile case you will still be appearing for mobile cases related keywords okay fine and it's uska synonyms mein however in this case it will uh, be little more uh, uh, modified that's why it's called modified uh, all right so when you are making a modified uh, uh, search as your keyword preference then you need to be very careful that uh, you are not uh, you are also using your negative keywords very wisely otherwise you will start appearing in searches where you might not want to and you will start end in ending up paying more there okay now we come to phrase match Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to ask, what is negative keyword searches? Where you don't want to appear. Okay. Where you don't want yourself to be triggered. For example, if I'm I'm Zell and I'm a digital, I'm, for example, I'm selling a CFA course. Okay. Okay. So I might not want to appear in CFA exam result because, of course, someone who is looking for exam result has done CFA. Uh, uh and is not my client so i will uh, may include such keywords in my negative keyword list okay fine so that i don't waste money because there will be lakhs and lakhs of searches happening for exam results as well okay so you can like actually put out like which are the negative keyword that you do not yeah, want right you right, can do that correct, right correct, okay correct. that you can do in modifier 
no don't modify it otherwise you uh, uh, you you will have to do a restrictive uh, exact match negative keyword listing that's what i would say uh, okay. so that you you don't otherwise if you modify it then all your keywords uh, uh, will go haywire okay fine yeah you can get this uh, you know cfa or uh, uh, negative key keyword uh, point uh, mm-hmm. I, if i am uh, you know trying to get ranked on a digital marketing course how would cfa uh, you know come into picture because it could not even come into no no i that was not for digital marketing i just the cfa example came more, came in more relevant because there is no exam i was not able to think of any example so i said if i am running a course for cfa if i'm running an ad for cfa and i have to choose some negative keywords i would choose cfa exam Okay, so some do it. Oh, got it, got it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Then nothing to do with uh, digital marketing campaign. Sorry if I confused. Clear, everyone clear. So the the relation of digital marketing camp there is no relation between these two campaigns. I came up with a new example because negative keyword uh, with that example came in more ha- handy. Are we clear? I had a question. Yes. Sure. Example uh, for an ad, uh, uh, can I include a mix of broad match, phrase match, and exact match? For an ad, can you include? Yes, you can. Could be a mix of broad uh, phrase and exact match also. Yeah, yeah. So campaign could be a mix of these. Okay. Okay. Now coming to phrase match. uh anyone to uh, explain phrase match yeah now we are we are just getting more and more and more specific so i think it's more clear you are able to see my presentation slide right yes yes yeah so i'll give an example of phrase match uh this happened recently so we were kind of uh, running a campaign on a meal card for example hmm so um in the current scenario companies are not uh, giving um uh, food to um, they are not able to give food to their employees in the cafeteria right because there are no people to come to office okay so um in case of these cards that can be used in cafeteria for meals um the the employers the companies would be searching for um things like subsidized meals in my cafeteria or employees eating meals from home or employees ordering meals from home so okay. that could be the psyche of the hr to give the benefit to the employee while he or she is working from home. so that's where i from the keyword this phrase matches which is a behavior that impacts uh, my search volume um Okay. Anyone else to take a uh, a take on it? So I'll give you a hint that it's it phrase match is the phrase should be in a particular order. The, so the order is important here. I can try. Yeah. Go ahead. So if if anyone searching for uh, digital marketing a uh, digital marketing agency, yeah. or if anyone searches for for top digital marketing agency or if anyone searches for best digital marketing marketing agencies in mumbai it will show because the digital marketing ka order is the same i think you can add or uh, delete uh, prefix or suffix after the search terms so that is okay but that should be in a specific order as you've written ki agar digital marketing ke term ke beech mein kuch aa gaya to fir phrase match mein nahi dikhayega बट अगर टॉप डिजिटल मार्केटिंग डाला या बेस्ट डिजिटल मार्केटिंग डाला तो दिखाएगा करेक्ट करेक्ट सो द ऑर्डर इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम डूइंग दीज काइंड ऑफ की वर्ड बिडिंग एंड सो बेस्ट टर्म प्लान और यू नो टर्म प्लान टॉप टर्म प्लान uh these sort of keywords are high convert uh, converting rather than you know just uh, a term plan uh, you know keyword yeah correct so which means uh, adding to your point so you, you can show your ad to customers who are searching for 
uh, your exact keyword and close variants of your exact keywords with additional word before or after. Correct? So this is this gives you higher control. Uh, so as to how you want, uh, where do you want to appear? As compared to the previous three types or two types that we discussed. So for example, I'll give another another example that even. Uh, so for example, if you are looking for uh, running shoes. Okay. So ad may show up in searches like shoes for running, buy running shoes on sale, um, some any color, pick any color and uh, that color and running shoes. So if someone is looking for keywords like uh, looking to buy comfortable running sneakers. So these are the keywords where your uh, running shoe phrase match keyword will lead you to. And where your ad won't show for searches for, for example, if someone is looking for, uh, uh, if uh, I type pink sport shoes, so then it will not show, right? Correct, correct, correct. So okay. if someone is looking for ten tennis, shoes, correct, correct, correct. So I hope this is clear. Now this is last one is the tricky one. So exact match. Anyone? It, it sounds like it is self-explanatory. However, yeah. there is a recent update by Google. So they have Google has just announced that uh, some time back that some changes uh, to to their exact match category. Um, anyone to take a take on this? So earlier they were having some uh, uh, what do you call filler words or they were also taking care consideration of the for in a from these kind of you know tiny words while uh, doing exact match they have made some changes in that and how they see uh, the query so will that be considered in future update or it won't be considered yeah yeah so future update uh, is considered so I'm asking, do you, are, can you take a guess what is uh, the current uh, exact match definition? So for example, as Path said, uh, term plan. So if he only uses term plan and if the search matches with a term plan, then only it will show. Then whether it is top term plan, whether it is best term plan or whether it is term plan for anyone, it won't show. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that is what an exact match is. It does not, we cannot also uh, add any words or letters uh, in front or behind the search terms. Okay. Will this include more long tail keywords? It no. can, I know. Yeah, it yeah. may or may not. Yeah, it it yeah. may or may, may not. It doesn't have to do with uh, long tail or short tail. So probably what I have on my mind is what I type and then the result will show up exactly what I'm thinking. And that's what it's matching my exact search queries, for example. So for example, I'll give you an example. So the exact match keyword, which is uh, uh, shown by the square brackets. For example, if you're looking for a uh, men's dress shirt, Okay, is now it is eligible to show to the exact search term men's dress shirt. 